And today is a national day of action when it comes to calling for environmental justice. Thousands of demonstrators throughout the country, including right here in San Diego, came together to call on the White House to make change right now when it comes to our future in our climate and our communities. CBS 8's Richard Allen, he is standing by. He's here to tell us what those pro uh, protesters are calling on President Biden to do. Good evening, Richard. Well, that's right. Hundreds of San Diegans passionate about environmental justice turned out this afternoon in front of the federal building downtown. Now, they joined dozens of other similar rallies throughout the country today with a unified message for President Biden to declare a climate emergency. And if President Biden were to officially declare a climate emergency, these climate justice activists led by the group San Diego 350 say this would allow him to tap into his full executive powers to take faster and bolder action, especially when it comes to ending fossil fuel extraction. Now, these protesters, along with thousands of others around the country, say that Biden could use his power as president, even in the face of the divided Congress we now have, to stop the approval of new fossil fuel leases, reinstate a ban on crude oil and gas exports, and also stop foreign fossil fuel investment. Instead, these demonstrators are demanding our federal government focus on investing in our communities, especially the ones most negatively impacted by the climate crisis, which are disproportionately lower income minority neighborhoods. Now, San Diego leaders pointed out that on the local level, we are making strides to reach our own climate plan goal of net zero emissions by the year 2035. Still, more needs to be done. We need to really make sure that the transition is fair, that environmental justice is part of it, and that we include everyone. We have the plans, the ideas, the solutions, but we do not have the power. There is one individual in this country who does have the power, and that is President Joe Biden. And another speaker today, Youssef Miller from the Interfaith Coalition for Earth Justice, emphasized the need for our younger generations to take a leadership role in fighting for environmental justice and aligning themselves with the so-called older generations to make true progress when it comes to climate justice. Kirsten and Carrie. All right. Richard Allen, thank you for that.